What's up YouTube, it's Zyph here, and I would like to welcome you to my first GTA 5 video on the Xbox. So, in this video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is a tutorial on how to get the Maserati. But before we get into all of that particular stuff, because it's, um, it's just a little bit of information about what I've uh, figured out about how cars spawn in GTA, I would just like to point out that this is my first GTA 5 video on my channel, and this is more of a thing on Xbox where... I'm going to do this until the PC version comes out because I'll record on that with some of my friends and stuff. For right now, on GTA 5, I might do a couple missions, I'll do some tutorials and stuff, but um, to get right into the information on this Maserati over here, here's my pimped out one, and then here's just the default one that I think I put insurance on just in case for some reason it exploded. Um, and then I used to have four or three more. But um, I either sold them to the custom shop or I um, gave them to a couple of my friends because they were wondering how to do it and I was showing them and stuff. So um, that is about it for this little introduction thing. I'm going to get right into it in just a minute, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so now that you are back in this little um, informational part of the video on how I kind of figured this out after playing this for a period of time, because I'm only like level... One of my 56 so i haven't been playing this for extremely long but i've played it enough to where i know the basic mechanics of the way the game works so what i figured out is um in this game there's like waves of cars that spawn and so i think if you've seen these kind of tutorials before people have said kind of similar things in different ways but what i figured out from it is that there'll be two to three cars that'll just there'll be a lot of them like at periods of times they'll it'll be a full lobby of just dominators or what's equivalent to a mustang and then there'll be um there'll be like these suv cars and then there'll be those um suvs that have about eight to nine thousand dollars worth of, which is what you fill up your garage with to sell later on but um the way this works is as you guys saw i had the two hundred and five thousand dollar apartment with that 10 car garage so while i was explaining that i drove on over to the pier so the best way to find cars is to go into parking lots because the most amount of cars spawn in parking lots because it's easier to get cars that people aren't driving around because you could just pass it on the road and not even notice that that's the car you're looking for. So what I do is I come over to the pier where it has this big huge parking lot that for some reason half of them are handicap spots which I just now noticed. There's like, what is that, four, seven, nine handy, there's eleven. Well, holy crap, this is a handicapped parking lot. But anyway, the, um, as you can see, there's, I think this is a 9F, I'm not, don't, don't hold me accountable on that, but that might be a Cabrillo or something. But um, what, what you do is, there's usually about, I don't know, like 6 to 10 cars that spawn in here, just in this random locations, not like all next to each other or anything. And so what you do to reload this area is like normally you know how you're driving down like the highway or something or a big major road in this game you'll see a different phase of cars like for some reason you'll see like 10 dominators around you or then you'll see like 10 suvs or there'll be a mix of five and five of different cars there's usually about three cars that are like taking over the lobby like that's the most amount so what you do to reset like that little end of the parking lot from what i figured out is you drive out of this thing, you wait a couple seconds, and then you go back in, and usually different cars will be in different spots. And so, um, even though this car is a little bit rare, um, a bunch of people have had different issues with finding it, and this may be a little bit late of a tutorial, but this is more of a thing about um, getting ready for the PC version. So as you can see, there's different cars in this parking lot. Like, there's an Infernus right there, which is pretty expensive car and so there's none over here in those handicapped spots and um, they're usually spread around this end of it. See look there's another Infernus so there's probably going to be several Infernuses driving around because that might be a car that's taking over the lobby or something. So that's just a little bit of what I've learned from that. All you do is you just drive up and down that, that pier because different people have said that the lobby stays that way for different periods of time which it does, but it usually reloads the area faster if you drive out of it and drive back in. So if I go back up here and drive back down to where it was, it'll um, have different cars in that area. And so instead of leaving the lobby and joining back into different lobbies in the same location um, by changing where you spawn in and stuff, 
this just makes it a little bit easier without, without having to go through the menu all the time. And so just because of when I do missions and stuff, like here's different cars, um, because of when I do missions, the, um, I, I usually puts me back into the world at nighttime. I don't know why, but that's usually how it is. And so that's actually when I found all of these. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with how they spawn, but like, I think that's a comment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But the, um, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with how they spawn. That's just usually when I find them. But I've also found them like outside of parking lots. I've seen, I've seen a couple people driving them around on the road and just like taking it from them and selling it to them. Or, um, as you can see on the map, there's the green car that Simeon, or Simon, I don't know how to pronounce his name, like how he wants it. I'm not sure what car that is right now, but that's his high priority vehicle that you have to respray and sell to him. Sometimes it's the Ocelot 5620, which is the Maserati equivalent, like what I'm driving around right now. And, uh, sometimes it's just some random car that's worth a decent, decent amount of money that he wants for some reason. So that's really about it on the informational part of it, about how I figured it out kind of stuff. But really, in order to find it, like, it's it's easier to find it when, you, um, when you're when you the only one in that section of the map. Like, since I'm on an invite-only world with just me on it, it's it's reloading the chunks more. Or, not, not really the chunks, I'm used to saying Minecraft reloading the chunks. But, um, it's reloading the area where the cars will spawn. Like, here's a bunch of comments, or... Yeah, those are all comments. And, um, so it just makes it easier when there's one person. Because if, if someone just got out of their car and was standing here and was, like, AFK or went to eat dinner and was just standing here with their car, it's not going to change the cars because whatever's in your field of vision, it won't change the cars because that wouldn't make logical sense for, like, this car over here. Like, this freaking, what is this, the Challenger equivalent in real life, I'm pretty sure. Like... If, if that just disappeared in front of your eyes, that wouldn't make sense. So, like, especially when you're on your phone going into contacts and you call your mechanic, like, he he won't deliver me a car because I'm in my car right now. What you need, boss? But Some wheels? Anyway, I can bring them around. Because, why not? And, okay, um, I got so stuff whenever to do. you call your mechanic, he, he'll, like, spawn in your car and, um, like, say, say someone online just blew up my car. Like, that's my car and it just exploded. And I died and respawned in and I need a car and don't want to steal it and get the police on me. Whenever I call the mechanic, the car won't spawn, like, like, the, the car will not spawn where I'm looking. So it's easier to get a car to spawn near you if you're looking straight down, which I've figured out over time. Or if you have your back to the road, like if you're standing along a major road and, you have, and you're standing on the sidewalk and you have your back to where the car will park and stuff, that's how you can get it the closest to you. So that just proves that they're not, they're trying to make the game as realistic as possible, as you can probably tell by the intense amount of graphics in GTA 5. But that's really about it for how you find this. It's, it's a, a lot of it is about luck on when they spawn in, because it's random on when the um, different cars become the major ones. So whenever you see a lobby, like, I'll pull up a chart on my computer, is what I usually do, and have a, um, a price list of what each car is worth and so if I go out of here and say I don't want any of these cars and I drive all the way out here to the end of this pier and then want to drive back to reload the cars and say for example a bunch of Gallivanter ballers spawn in and those are worth I think about 8,500 or 9,000 or something like that and um, say say I steal one of those and I check my chart and I'm like, oh, this is an expensive car. So I'll fill up my garage with all those cars while that's the car of the lobby at the time, or one of the three cars of the lobby. So, say, I don't know, for example, um, say this car over here I wanted really bad for some reason. It's either someone was looking for it or, or um, I wanted to sell it to the oh customs place. I'd go in, I'd steal it, just like how you steal any other car. So this is the Penumbra. It's nothing special about this car. I have one in my garage because I was trying to test all the stuff to get out on it. But that's besides the point. But the, um, the difference between it is that whenever you're doing this, it makes it easier to find cars to sell in between missions or whatever you're doing with your friends or goofing around and stuff. And it also makes it easier to find rare cars. So, um, like, whenever, whenever you find a, um... 
a Maserati or Ocelot 5620 equivalent with like the because it's, it's not exactly a Maserati because they don't want like any copyright stuff like there's a Jaguar front and there's just different parts from different cars but it's the equivalent to the Maserati in this game which you guys probably already know but I just like to point out that it's easy it's an easy way to find rare cars like if you go over to the um, like if you if you open your map and you go all the way up to this top part where there's all those desert cars and dune buggies and tall trucks and stuff say there's a rare car you want to find in this area try to find a parking lot or an area where a bunch of um, cars park in a certain spot and just go about the same distance this pier is away from it and don't look back at it like that how you see there's no cars on that side where they used to be just keep looking away from it and then drive back and it reloads the entire like chunk of land in that area to be able to find rare cars so that's basically my rare cars kind of tutorial thing for the awesome 5620 if you guys did enjoy this different kind of content on my channel please tell me down below in the comments section and leave a like if it did help you and this did work for you and if not tell me i will help you in the comments and feel free to invite me to a game or something i'll i'll uh, help you if you need anything along those lines and my uh, gamer tag on Xbox is the same gamer tag that I have for Minecraft and my YouTube channel. It's Cyphalopagus. If you need help uh, spelling it, just look at my channel name. It's right there. Um, but besides that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if there's any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. But besides that, thank you guys for watching, and peace out. Bye.